So when we look at our fat cell, it again, as we discussed earlier, the fat cell is an endocrine organ. It serves a tremendous benefit for the body, preventing diabetes, preventing cardiovascular disease. Well, what happens is when our fat cell expands, meaning it's storing the excess fatty material that we consume in our diet and we don't burn off because we perhaps live a sedentary lifestyle, what happens is when that cell expands, it becomes quite hazardous in our body. And when it expands, it can actually impair the function of the liver. 80% of cholesterol in our body is actually not derived from diet, but actually synthesized by our body, specifically synthesized by our liver. So as much as we would like to couple high cholesterol with our diet, 80% actually derives from our body itself. So what we find is that the enlarged fat cell can actually impair a process known as cholesterol genesis, which is simply the synthesis of cholesterol in our body, causing it to increase the production of hazardous or harmful cholesterol known as LDL or low density lipid proteins which is commonly classified as the bad cholesterol. And so when we have enlarged fat cells that can give rise to higher levels of LDL level. Also it can lower our good cholesterol, high density lipid proteins. Mm -hmm. And so when we lose high density lipid proteins we're unable to clean the blood and remove fatty material and help combat with high cholesterol of LDL levels. Therefore, what we see with an enlarged fat cell are individuals that have high cholesterol and high triglyceride levels. And so as we discussed, the Zorona, histologically proven to deflate the fat cell safely without destroying the cell, returning it back to a lean, healthy state, what that will ultimately do is change the way it's been functioning with the liver, allowing, again, normal synthesis of LDL levels and high synthesis of HDL levels. And so in our FDA clinical study that required that we look at cholesterol levels in addition to the circumferential reduction, we were able to demonstrate not just maintenance of cholesterol levels, but a reduction of cholesterol levels in just two weeks. So what patients were seeing were circumferential reduction in measurements, but also a reduction in their cholesterol and triglyceride levels. And that's a powerful indication to the fact that we are reducing the size of the fat cell back to a healthy lean state.